Okay, so at a high temperature, the following reaction has an equilibrium constant of 1.0 times 10 to the second. Give you the reaction. If one mole of each of the hydrogen and fluorine are allowed to come into equilibrium in a 10 liter flask, calculate the equilibrium amounts of hydrogen and HF. All right, so we are going to do an ice table. So I have the H2, and I have an F2, and I have the 2H, HF, HF. And this is going to be an ice table. All right, now, when we do an ice table, it's always going to be concentrations go in there. So I need to take the moles divided by the liters to see that this is actually 0 0.100 molar. And that's for H2 and F. And none of this is mentioned, so I say it's zero. All right, because that's zero, I know the change is going to um, go up from there. You can't go down from negative, so it must go up. Therefore, products increase, reactants decrease. And I just use the coefficients to get the stoichiometric ratios. So equilibrium, this is going to be 0.1 minus x. This is also going to be 0.1 minus x. And this is just going to be 2x. All right, I know from the balanced equation that the Q for this is going to have the HF concentration squared. And underneath it is the, the H and the fluorine concentration separated. And we need to plug these things in. So at equilibrium, when the Q is equal to K, we could actually say that this is true. 1 times 10 to the negative, 1 times 0 times 10 to the negative, 10 to the positive second is our K. And at K, we are at equilibrium. All right, I'm going to solve it this time with my graphing calculator. So I'm going to go ahead and solve this equation like this and never even try to simplify it. All right, so what I mean by put it in like it is, I'm just going to put my um, right side of that equation directly in here and then move this over to the right so the left has just a zero on the side because that's how we make a plot. So I need to do 2x squared times 0.1 minus x on the bottom and another 0.1 minus x on the bottom. I do that rather than divide because it seems like it sometimes messes up when I do that divide. Something with the order of operations I'm making a mistake on, but if I do it with the negative ones, it, it likes my calculator skills more. And now I'm just going to move this over to the right by subtracting it. And I'm just going to graph that. Don't even really necessarily care what it, what it looks like. What I really want to know is where it crosses zero. I want to find roots. Now, um, in a case like this, where we're solving a polynomial, there are obviously multiple roots. But the one we care about is something larger than zero. And I know that because if it's zero, nothing really happens. But it can't be larger than 0.1. Because if it's larger than 0.1, this would become negative, and we can't have that. So that's what I'm going to look for. I'm going to just calculate a zero. My left bound will be zero. My right bound will be 0.1. And my guess will be zero. I'll have it start guessing there. And it goes along and it found an x at 0 0.0833. And that's what we're going to use here to figure out our equilibrium amounts. So the H2 concentration, we predicted it here to be 0.1 minus x, which means we're saying it's mm, 0.1 minus 0 0.0833. We're saying that concentration is 0 0.0167. And the HF is twice that. So 2 times 
0 0.0833. I didn't put a zero in there. I'll just figure it in when I calculate it. So it's 0 0.0166. Yeah. And that gives me my answers for both those.